level one. So today we're looking at finding distance for velocity time graph. And if you have missed the lesson on velocity time graph, then I urge you to go back to that lesson because that lesson outlined different motions for velocity time graph. And so let's quickly just jump into kind of give a brief overview of how we find distance of velocity time graph or actually what it is. And so the distance or displacement for velocity time graph is determined by the area below the graph. So pretty much is the area below the graph you're finding once you're finding distance using velocity time graph. All right, so here now, uh, we're going to look at um, this graph as an example. And so to find the area, first to find area of anything, you need to know the shape of what you actually find the area of. All right, so below the green line, which is the graph, the, line, the green line is the graph. So below the green line, we need to figure out how we're going to find that area. All right, I know, I know you may realize that there are uh, two types of shapes. So we have right there, we have triangle and a rectangle, but let's just highlight them real quick. All right, so that first part there is a triangle. And if you notice, the highest point of that triangle is three, which is three meters per second. So the area of that triangle is given as half base times the height. All right, and so to, to calculate that, we will have half the base, all right? And so half the base is actually one. and our height here will be three, which is three meters per second. And so that will equal to here, now we get three meters. So that first part of the graph will be three meters as the distance. All right, so the next part of the graph will pretty much be a rectangle or a square, depending on how your graph is drawn. So whether it be a square rectangle, doesn't matter. Um, the formula will be the same, which is a simply base times height. All right, and so, since it's base times height, what we'll get here is the base of this is three, and how you know it's three, if you look carefully, um, it starts at two and ends at five, so therefore five minus two is three, so the base is three. Or you could count it to say 1.23 points, depending on how you want to look at it. All right, so therefore the base is three, and the height here, again, is also three, so gonna be three multiplied by three, which is equal to nine meters. Now for the last part of the green line is also a triangle, if you notice that. And so to calculate this is again, is half base times height. And so let's put the values there. So the base here is actually from five to seven, which is um, two, um, two seconds. And so therefore half of two is one. And so that multiplied by our height, and our height there is three meters per second. And so therefore here will be a value of three meters. If you should, if you should put all of these together, what you'll have as a total distance, it is three plus nine plus three, which equals to 15 meters for the entire journey. So depending on what the exam may ask you for or your test questions, it may ask to find a distance at a certain um, journey. For example, the acceleration part, when it's moving constant velocity or when it is decelerating. Again, you can go back to the velocity time graph um, lesson to understand these motions. All right, so we're gonna look at one more example here. All right, so this is a little bit more of a complicated graph, a little bit more challenging, not really, really complicated in a sense, but you know, a little bit more challenged. And I know you don't mind the challenge, right? All right, so look at the green line, look at the motion. Yes, it'll shape a little bit funny. But let's break it down to see how we can actually determine this. All right, so yeah, the first part there, there's a triangle. I'm not gonna use no numbers here. I just wanna kinda show you how to break this down. And then of course, um, you know how to find the area of each shape. So again, that's half base times height. All right, the second journey right there, which is a uniform velocity or constant velocity. Again, that is a rectangular shape. So therefore here, we're gonna have base times height. All right, now this part is always the problematic part. You notice here, we don't even know where we're going uh, because we don't know what shape that is, right? But if we break it up into portions, here will be a rectangular portion, so that will be base times height. And on top of that will be a triangular section. All right, so that again is half base times height. So now just break it up. And then to the right now, you have a large, large triangle. So therefore, it'll be half base times height. So half base times height is the last triangle. So notice you can break up below the graph in different shapes um, to, make the, to make it manageable. 
and just write them out. And then again, you could just add them together. But I want to point out something here. Um, this half base time height and this base time height, they are representing um, the distance covered when the car is accelerating at this point. So this is the second um, acceleration here, okay? And then the entire um, orange um, triangle is representing the deceleration part. Um, this is representing only when it's moving with um, constant velocity or uniform velocity. And this is for the first acceleration. So a question could have been, what is the total distance covered in both um, or, um, or both of the acceleration um, journey? So it could be this here plus these two. All right, so they could ask a different number of questions, but again, just use the shapes, find it, find the distance, or if you want to find a total distance, just add up all of them as we did before. All right, so this is where we're going to end today. And so I really, really trust me. I really, really appreciate in, appreciate you watching all these lessons. And I just want to remind about something that for every journey, your first step is important. So if you want to go somewhere, just get up and start moving. All right, if you want something to happen, just get up and start. All right. So be encouraged, stay safe, stay blessed until we meet again. See you soon, all right?